everyone talking about the last ph 85 by collage the notes in this are black currant orange blood orange leather coriander tobacco oak moss jasmine cedar musk sandalwood amber peru balsam and vanilla so this ended up being a pretty unique combination of accords the opening has this like sweet yet bitter pungency combination that reminds me a little bit of zoologist's cockatiel and it actually kind of develops like that as well because by the end it's more of like a sweet woods kind of vanilla y although with this one that pungency does stick around a little bit towards the end but it does get really kind of sweet and you know it's more of like a tart sort of almost patchouli-ish smelling even though i don't think that's in here that kind of hides behind some of the sweet woodsy aspect to the end uh after kind of the opening of this the balsamic style leather comes in more and more it has this like greasy tinge to it kind of like picture italian leather by memo there's almost like a moldy green type of accord from the oak moss and coriander combination and then like a pinch of old tobacco sprinkled on top and yeah as mentioned when it dries down it becomes more of like a soft sweet woods but there's still something a little bit bitter green and tart in there even kind of hours into it I don't really like it, but it is a pretty original combination of accords that are not often combined to get that kind of bitterness and balanced with that sort of sweet vanilla aspect at the same time and for sort of the tart, almost black currant type of vibe to stick around for as long as it does to my nose here. This has good longevity and projection. I would say it's very unisex. Goes for 160 for a 50 mil. I mean, it's pretty unique and it does smell high quality, so I don't think that's totally unfair. The reason I don't like it so much is just, I think that bitterness in the kind of greasy balsamic way that the leather is done here, maybe combined with sort of the way the sandalwood kind of leans here. Uh, and yeah, just not really for me, but nothing that I think is actually bad about the scent. And I think it's worth trying if you like, you know, sweet, tart, but also kind of bitter green in the mix. The tobacco isn't too present here, but there are phases where it's very balsamic to my nose. But uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or sample if you want to check it out.